our conversations were not completed, but we're just hashing, you know, throwing information back and forth. And with others, I, I've had conversations earlier. People really, um, this stuff is redundant. And the truth, uh, we've been telling this stuff for, you know, like 40 years, a little over 40 years now. Uh, however, now that people uh, on a larger scale have started to gravitate to this information, you see large groups of people around the country outside this, this land and around the world are now uh, moving quickly on a level of consciousness that uh, disrupts the ends legis operations of the Roman Curia members. And logically, the uh, members of the accredited uh, barristers association who have uh, offices around the planet in different nation states are really uh, kind of upset right now. And keep in mind that all of the political operatives, that means all these people at North America who've been calling themselves mayors, um, council people, governors, which are artificial bays, keep that in mind, artificial bays are known as governors, um, presidents, congressmen, and senators, all of which are actually members of the Roman Curia, who have been actually feeding on humans for quite some time, both physically, politically, and economically, do not want the people to find that out because it gets uglier than what I've been talking about. But I try to stick with things that are most pragmatic and that would help people um, who knowingly are not erudite with this information so that they can keep a level head. Because if you really knew the truth, many people would not be able to handle it. They would not be willing to handle it. However, we'll try to deal with things that people can handle. And I recognize that lately, particularly in the last two years, not that it wasn't before, but in the last two years, there's been a lot of controversy con con concerning um, capitalist diminutio maxima and also mi capitalist mini minima. Um, and I recognize that people would have concerns when they'd see uh, different Moors or people of the land um, taking their autographs and signatures and putting them in uh, small letters or what you call lowercase letter letters distinguished from capitalized letters. Uh, know that uh, from a political position for the purpose of heritability uh, and liberties and right of uh, uh, heritabilities rel uh, relative to both corporal and incorporal rights or possessions or inheritances, this is done as a countermeasure to the operations of the members of the British accredited registry that created and had been promoting around the world the all capital letters nom de gears that you will see on driver's license that you think is yours, marriage certificates that you think is yours, um, birth certificates that you thought were yours, um, CDLs that you thought were yours, registration certificates of title to cars and trucks that you thought was yours, etc. And so when you see people uh, writing or communicating their communication in small case letters, comprehend this fact. And this is fact, not opinion. It is an absolute counter to the nom de guerre capitation or capit created by the Pope of Rome for human trafficking as well as for birthright theft in all instrumentalities or communications with the living in order to convert your estates to their private U.S. Treasury bond corporate operations with C and company. Now, in reference to uh, also when you see uh, Moors over the years who have uh, presented on their instrumentalities, um, or their writs or their reversion of estate instrumentalities, um, their autograph in all 
of small case letters, or even if you have the first letter capitalized and the other letter small case, which is not in its nature grammatically a nom de guerre. Uh, when you see that written in red, this is also a signification in a literary transfer um, that implies the divine nature of the living sentient man and woman relative to that which is divine distinguished from that which is written by the hand of man in the sense of in legacy operations for human trafficking, i.e. it is divine sovereign signature. That's what that is. And understand sovereignty is divine. It has nothing to do with the legislation or a grant from any person or group of persons claiming to be government. Make that very clear right now because a lot of people don't get that however when you see it don't be offended even if you choose to do it or not at least know what you're looking at and don't knock things that you don't know what you're talking about because that's what that's about it's a counter to rome so essentially when you see the red signature or autograph it signifies that the being is a living sentient man or woman who was cognizant of their right of a state, their right of a liberties, their right of reversion of a state from a divine perspective and not necessarily the assumed political venues that you have been trained in. Um, so when you see that, that's what it implies. And it also re implies the nobility or the original noble people of the land distinguished from operatives or people who are quote unquote colonist intruder or uh, what you might call invaders pretenders imposters etc and even though on many fronts we ourselves the people of the land have been out of order and are struggling on many fronts to re-educate ourselves and become irritate in our knowledge of self and the knowledge of fundamental principles of civilization, these are indicators of that activity. I also want to note to you that um, while a lot of these things are going on, and uh, particularly with the small case letters, etc., that much of the undoing of the Roman operatives in their bond, bond system is already collapsing. So uh, you also have the issue of the ends legis uh, instrumentalities and the alanges attached to them that have been distributed from seed and company around the world through US treasury bonds are dead anyway. Does not mean that you should cease your activity of reversion of a state on your multiple levels. It is just to let you know that even if you did um, you yourself did an instrumentality with all capital letters, etc., that it would not function because that paradigm is now dead. However, comprehend that you still have stragglers of the dark priesthood who are still operative on the planet. And this goes with uh, what you call the use of human skins for products, which they've been doing for quite some time, more time than you ever think of um putting human uh, flesh into your um what you call fast food burger joints and selling them in their supermarkets successfully since the 40s um and making people sick and then um also doing experiments on the people um in the name of making them well after having made them sick uh, all of these paradigms are being examined more openly by people on the planet, particularly people of Asia and Africa, who have been the most specific targets for these operations, etc. But again, um, just to uh, uh, pass note on that, I want to get back to uh, the, the, the more direct subject matter of capitalist de minutio maxima and give you a little bit of um, background because I know that most of you who come on to, in, onto this venue already know this information. You've known it for years. 
but for those who who are not um in a state of mind or, or of comprehending why you see some people doing uh small case letters um it is not uh, I take not the position with you to convince you to do anything one way or the other. For now, is the choice is yours. For you must start creating your own paradigm for the future. As the old world op operations of unum sanctum of dictums and decrees are dying out. So you must uh, have a cognate um, comprehension of what's going on so that you can start molding or planning on uh, how you're going to operate on the days uh, ahead that you have and that your family members have with intelligence for one for the purpose of survival both physically and economically and uh, so that you can um, also survive the attacks that are now being put upon you that's been put upon you and that's going to increase for a while too uh, but the success of the dark priesthood has much more to do with you than you would like to think it does. And keep in mind, this presentment is to you, not for you to looking for some savior, some sacrificial lamb, because it's not going to happen. Every man, every woman, and every child must confess their own and worship under their own vine and fig tree. You're going to carry your own cross of this life. And you're not putting it on anybody's back anymore, so don't even try it. Don't even go there. However, for those who want to survive this thing, and it's multifaceted, you better believe that it is. I'm going to give you direct, so that so that uh, so the detractors, because they always have detractors. Some of them have been uh, put close to us. Um, what this is in order for you to make your own decisions. I don't want you to say, Taji guy told us this is right and that's right. I'll take you directly to the law book. Now you make your own decisions what you want to do. However, do not waste your time knocking people who are active to restore their lost estate while you're sitting around not studying and spending your energy trying to pull down people who are trying to do things to help you as well as themselves. So we're going to go into five points of diminutia of capitus. Now, capitus is essentially a position that Roman priests take of taking the heads of people. And the heads of people is both physical and spiritual. Some people will call them soul steer stealers. Um who go around the world in the name of saving souls, but they've always actually been collectors. That's not opinion. What I just told you is just fact. You better examine what I just said right now. Um, contrary to their intentions, they have been interrupted uncomfortably, and they have been uh, so sure of themselves that they thought that there would be no people basically uh, on this plane of life capable of count countering them. Most of them they would take out physically anyway. However, there's energies and there are entities here at Midgard assisting uh, in truth on many levels um, to counter the dark priesthood. Keep in mind the dark priesthood is not just some man who's all uh, partying with the choir members, which is traditional in what they call the so-called church, mosque, synagogue communities. Um, you know, that that's typical. Everybody acts like they don't know that's what the game is, but that's the typical thing. Uh, who claim to be saving souls. The people want to find out they were assistants of others, dark priesthood behind them who are actually collectors of souls. And that's another subject matter within itself. However, those who are collecting and soul stealing logically look at the containers or the bodies as simply uh, resource commodities. And know this for a fact, they have been used 
accordingly from the cradle to the grave. So let's get into the capitus orders. Write this down. Please write this down. Write this down. Capitus. Capite. That's C-A-P-I-T-E. Capitus. C-A-P-I-T-I-S. These are the areas of operations by the priesthood, whether they claim to be a politician. Keep in mind, all your politicians are priests. They are. They haven't told you that, but you need to know what, what uh, been have, put it this way, not so much what you've been dealing with, what's been dealing with you. And understand that operatively, taxes are actually tithes. T H T H E S from the Church of Rome imposed upon the nations of the world to support the bishopric and the priesthood and the priesthood of Constantine, known as the priesthood of the Niceno Constantinopolitan Creed Order of pseudo-Christianity hoisted upon the world using dark Babylonian magic, etc. That's who they are. That's what you've been suffering from. That's where your poverty come from. That's where your broken families come from. That's where the youth dying younger and younger every day come from. That's where the poisons come from. That's where all your viruses come from. It's come from your priesthood. And it ain't your priesthood those are demons in the flesh. That's the truth. This is part of what they use. This is only the subject matter for the night. For those of you who are already erudite in your fundamental studies, use your Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary. This comes down from your ancient mothers and fathers. Keep in mind that these are fundamental principles of jurisprudence, ancient jurisprudence, brought into the modern day. Meaning the principles have not changed. The law has not changed nor passed away. Don't get it twisted. We're going to the, the different levels of capitus or capit. So for those of you who have fourth edition, Black's Law Dictionary, go to page, this is the this is the revised fourth edition. Go to page 264, and the page will be in that area with your other um, law dictionaries, but that would be the page in this particular book, 264. Capita. Tenure. In Capit was an ancient feudal tenure whereby a man held lands of the king immediately. It was two or two sorts, the one sort or principal and general or of the king as the source of all tenure. The other Capit was special and subaltern or sub um, subaltern or of a particular subject and they claim it is now abolished they claim the fraud is no they didn't they've been continuing this crap under the united states service corporation this is why you see the hybrid europeans have been traditionally for the last couple hundred years, claiming falsely to be Americans and also claiming their corporation company, the United States Trading Corporation company registered in Austria, pretending it to be the country that they've been occupying at, cent at the central part of North America under the guise of the U.S., the, the so-called United States of America, which is really a private corporation that was established for human trafficking and has been operating accordingly ever since. And the evils that they have perpetrated upon 
the Aboriginal people have been falsely designated as racism and prejudice to hide the fact that it's actually unum sanctum operations of hybrid European hegemony. That's what's going on. Their instrumentalities in doing trade for the human trafficking and the bond system that seed and company and their operatives and administrators execute around the world and on the stock market at New York, etc., are called non gear instrumentalities under 14th Amendment and Legis legislation under the board of directors of the members of the Roman Curia, commonly called by the people, congressmen and senators. So now we're dealing with these Capit. Capit. Minutus. Now, Minutus is M I N U T U S. Capitus Dominicio. Capitus Dominicio Maxima. Capitus Dominicio Media. And Capit. Capitus Dominicio Minima. All of those are used. And I'll read the definition of each one of them so that you can relate it to everything that's been operative in your life, whether you have um, whether you have uh, had problems in your family where members of the so-called municipality have sent commercial mercenary agents and taken your children from their homes under the pretext of human services or under the pretext of uh, protecting your children, child services, and things like that, uh, whether they've been locking people up or stealing their property under the guise of traffic court, um, all of these are frauds, and all of these are operatives under capit for taking the head. So, capitus, Capitus minima or minute.